So, the Buddha. You know, when we go through all the teachings of the Buddha, and he loves lists, doesn't he? Four noble truths, seven, eight, six, that, five, that. He's got so many teachings, so many lists. All of them are useful. All of them are therapeutic. You can write an essay, give a lecture on each of the lists to psychotherapists and present it as therapeutic methods and techniques and you'll be spot on. Because the Buddha was the greatest physician. He was the healer. So I ask myself, what's the one teaching that in my mind, that is at this stage, in my limited lifetime, on this lifetime, what to me is the one teaching that I really want to know, experience, and share with my clients that seems to me is the most essential, most powerful, most in Western psychology, therapeutic. This will be it, the next slide. I have to prepare for the patient, as Bhante Dejadamo said, preparation besides outcome. I know if I'm having a lousy day, all my patients should really be asking for a refund. <laughs> they just tolerate me until I recover. It happens, you know? It happens because I'm a human. I know when I lost it all or more than half the session, I haven't been mindful because something else is going on here. Sometimes at the start of the next session, I very meekly ask, how was the last session? And as soon as the patient indicates, I said, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. I wasn't well in the last session. One of my best therapy sessions with one of my analysts was, I was thoroughly confused in that session. I was totally lost. I walked in the next day, and at the, right at the start of the session, he said to me, Inkong, I'm sorry. In the last session, I was jet lagged. I was so normal at that moment. I came out of my psychotic state. <laughs> he had the honesty, he had the integrity to reflect, to be human, and to tell me at the outset, I had suffered because of him. We do that. And there's great value in an apology. There was something wrote a paper on the value of an apology. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta prepare. What's my intention? I will proceed slowly. I'm for the patient. But be very, very careful not to shame because most people are shame prone. I'm gonna tip my head this way and somebody gets shamed. We are all so shame prone, so sensitive. And a finger snap moment of loving kindness is better than all the talking. So that's why I believe the next slide. This to me is the best teaching from the Buddha after I've prepared myself. I take this with me. I live in this state, I hope. More and more minutes in each session. And I hope more and more minutes in my life, if I could. Every time I go to a retreat, when I come out, I'm much more living in these abodes. Number one, number two, number three, number four. It's so simple. Thank you, the Lord Buddha, for helping me to realize that these are the four states I have to cultivate. Metta, uh, the, word, the word meditation in the Pali is bhavana. Bhavana actually means mental cultivation, mental development. Most of our Western patients and clients, when we say meditation, they mean, ah, oh, you, you just get very blissful, huh? You just have a nice bliss. No, no, no. Meditation is not just becoming calm. When you meditate, you're developing your mind. You're growing your mind. You're cultivating what is useful, what is important, what is possible. And I do thank the positive psychology industry you know, uh, for all its shortcomings, for all its Hollywood effects. I think the positive psychology does have something very important to say. It dovetails in my mind with the four.
all possible emotions. When Professor Martin Seligman came to the happiness and his, con and his causes conference, he learned from the Buddhist monks. And the Buddhist monks and nuns learned happiness equals a set point plus circumstances plus virtues. H equals S plus C plus D. That's Martin Seligman's formula for happiness. Read it in his book, Authentic Happiness. It's well worth the read. And the last bit, virtues, values. That's where spirituality comes in. Now, metta. I don't want to talk about it. I want to do it. Is that OK? That's done. Isn't it? Next slide. Next slide. Let's sit comfortably.